I recently started my first ever YouTube automation channel in the make money online niche, and I absolutely hated it. So I decided to switch the niche. And here is how I'm going to do it. Back in June 2022, I started my first ever YouTube automation channel. I picked the how to make money online niche for two reasons. First, the how to make money online niche supposedly has a high RPM, which is kind of true, but not really because the RPM really depends on the topic of the video and the audience that it reaches. For example, this video titled how to make money watching YouTube videos has an RPM of $3. And this video about Amazon has an RPM of 15 euros. You could argue that they are in the same how to make money online niche, but the video about Amazon has a five times higher RPM than that video about how to make money watching YouTube videos. The second reason is that I saw big successful channels in the space like Bryson Tay and Online Hustle, and I thought, hey, I'm just gonna copy them and this is going to be my golden ticket to success. Spoiler alert, that doesn't work. So here I am, three months later, I invested over $2,000 and the channel is now making a whopping $2 per month. At this rate, the channel is going to break even in 1,000 months, which is just over 83 years. Warren and Charlie would not approve of such an investment. So something needs to change. And to be exact, I need to change the type of videos that I'm producing. But here's the problem. I spent the last week researching and thinking about what kind of videos I want to produce. And guess what? I still haven't figured it out. It almost feels like I'm getting married, although I wouldn't know what that feels like. I've been considering all kinds of different channels. Charisma on Command, Fight Mediocrity, Athletic Interests, Free Investing, Real Life Lore. However, the daunting thought is that I'm not creating anything original. Once again, it just feels like I'm copying someone else. But on the other hand, I know that you shouldn't reinvent the wheel. You should take something that is proven to work and have your take on it. Also, knowing myself, I know that my interests change all the time. What I was into one year ago is not the same thing that I'm into today. So if I'll be starting a YouTube automation channel and let's say, tips and tricks for YouTube growth, modeling someone like Patty Galloway, I'm not sure if that's going to be something that I'm interested in one year from now. Now, the counter argument to that is that you don't actually need to be into the content yourself because other people are going to be making these videos. As you can see, it's a very hard decision to make, but I do have a game plan. Number one, I'm treating my YouTube channel as a business. By entering into a niche, I'm trying to capture market share. Businesses capture market share by diversifying themselves. So one thing I know is that I need to make my videos that people already watch, but at the same time, be different from the competition. Number two, I want the content on my channel to be informative and solve some kind of a problem that people have. To me, this is very important because this way I will be able to monetize my channel with external monetization by offering online education. For example, take a look at Charisma On Command. The money they make from online sales is very low in comparison to how much money they're making from their core sales. Well, good news is that our business is not dependent on ad rates. It's, mm -hmm. it's very, very heavily tilted towards the core sales that we have. So those have dipped, but not nearly to the same amount that ad rates have gone down. Core sales more closely track views that we have. And I think if you're treating your channel as a business, it's very important to consider that from day one. Yes, growth is the number one priority at the beginning. But at the same time, I do want to focus my content around solving a problem so later on I can offer a solution. And number three, I want to focus my videos more on the information value rather than on the production value. Of course, I would try to make my videos as entertaining as possible. But from my experience, I learned that if people find your video helpful and informative, then the production value becomes secondary. And with all these criteria in mind, I'm still researching which niche to get into. Self improvement, finance, fitness. I noticed that the more you learn and the more mistakes you make, the more cautious you become when making decisions because you learn that things are not as simple as they look. I'm going to try all kinds of different videos from different niches. My goal with this approach is to figure out which videos turn out the best 
and where I can get the highest retention. Moreover, as I'm trying these different videos, I'll be reporting back to the community on Discord. By the way, if you have any ideas for me which niche I should get into, I would love to hear from you. So if you want to be part of the first ever YouTube automation Discord community, then you're welcome to join us. It's the first link down in the description. I will see you there and thank you for watching.